All right, so now let's look at the next bullet point. Make sure to study the states of matter uh, formative and make sure you study the review of uh, the video, right? Not just the formative, but the uh, review, the whole thing, and know how to describe the three states of matter. So remember, we talked about that when we saw this video having to do with um, uh, the states of matter. Remember that when you're talking about a solid, it kind of looks like this, right? It's very rigid. It has a fixed shape and a fixed volume. And then when you're talking about liquid, liquid is not rigid, right? So it's not in this like solid block structure. It's kind of like I've mentioned before, like the ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese, right? Where the balls kind of roll over each other. It does not have a fixed shape. So that means that it will take the shape of whatever container you put it in, right? Because that's what water does. And then there is no fixed volume. So again, if you have a, like a cup of water and a measuring cup full of water and you pour that into a gallon, it's not all of a sudden going to grow and take up the whole space of the gallon, right? Water doesn't do that, just like a, a solid doesn't do that. The one thing that does do that, though, that we've talked about are, is gas, right? Gas is not rigid. It doesn't have that, that block structure. It just kind of moves wherever it goes or however much space you give it. That's where it tries to go. It doesn't have a fixed shape, so it'll take the shape of whatever container you put it in, right? And so like a balloon, think of a balloon. Some balloons are more round. Some of them, like for the animal balloons, are more long, right? Gas will take whatever shape of the container that you put it in. It also has no fixed volume, so gas will space itself out as far as it possibly can, depending on how much uh, space you give it, right? So solids don't do that. Water doesn't do that. Gas is the only thing that will grow in volume if you give it more space, right? So those are the main things, the main characteristics of those. And uh, let's look at this, um, this uh, handout, this formative. Again, the, the definitions here, it's just, just a little bit different, right? It's just saying it has a definite shape and volume which again, if it has a definite shape, it means it just keeps its shape. It does not take the shape of the container, right? And it has a definite volume. This just means that it does not grow in volume. If you move an ice cube into a larger container, it's not gonna grow in volume, right? Liquids have a definite uh, volume. So again, these aren't gonna go from one cup to a gallon just because it's not gonna grow from a cup to a gallon just because you move it into a bigger container, right? But it will take the shape of whatever container you put it in. And so that's what liquids do. And then gases contain uh, molecules that fly at great speeds, right? So gases will take as much space as you give them and they will, uh, and they will take the shape of whatever container you put them in.